So once you have your machine set up, how can you make sure that your machine actually gets transactions? Because without transactions, you won't collect any fees. And without fees, your machine becomes a huge paperweight at that point. So it's important that your machine has visibility and people know that your ATM machine is in a location. So to answer that question, there's one thing that you have to focus on and that one thing is marketing your ATM machine. Now, when I talk about marketing, that can be done in one of two ways. You can either get an ATM sign like this one right here, um, and they cost anywhere from like 20 to like $50, somewhere in that price point. Uh, I'll leave some links down in the description below if you guys wanna check them out. And the second way that I'm actually talking about is using Apple Maps. When I'm out in public, and I'm sure you guys have done this as well, sometimes I have to rely on my smartphone to find certain things. So sometimes I'll take out my phone and I'll type in gas station near me because you know I'm running low on gas, so I have to fill up. So the same concept applies to ATMs as well. If someone needs cash and they're somewhere in the vicinity of the ATM machine, if they search up ATM near me, your machine should be the first one to pop up if it's the closest one to them. And, you know, they'll click on that and the GPS will take them right to your machine. So that's what I'm basically going to show you guys today is how to actually get your ATM machine and put a locator on it, put it on Apple Maps. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. But if you guys could do me a huge, huge, huge favor, if you guys could actually hit that thumbs up button right down below, you know, it really helps to push that YouTube algorithm. And I would greatly appreciate it because nobody in this industry is actually talking about this. So this is kind of our little secret. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing that you guys have to do is hop on over to Google and type in Apple Maps Connect. And then it's gonna take you right here and click on the first one that pops up. And you can allow it if you if you want to. Now, you're going to have to create an account if you don't already have an account. Uh, I have an account, I'm already signed into my account. And as you can see, I actually have two of my machines um, already located on this, you know, this little Apple Maps locator. So when I type in, you know, ATM near me um, and I'm close to it, it actually pops up. So this is pretty much what you guys are going to do. Um, now, obviously, I have some of the names blocked out because, you know, I can't show everybody where I have my ATMs at. So the first thing that you guys want to do is actually go over here to the top right corner and click on this little plus sign. And it's going to say add place. So, for example, we're going to use this uh, Trader Joe's. I'm going to pull it up right here in a second. We're going to use this Trader Joe's just as an example right here. That's gonna be our example. So all we have to do is type in the place name. So Trader Joe's. And then we're gonna actually add the address right here. So I think the address is like 200. 32nd Street, New York, New York. And you know, I obviously don't have an ATM in this Trader Joe's. I'm using it for example purposes. So it's gonna pop up as this Trader Joe's right here. And we're actually not gonna click on it. We're going to click on right down here as an add new place and instead of actually adding i don't know why it's blurry but instead of actually adding trader joe's what we're going to do is type in the name of your business so mine is atm genius llc so i'm going to type in atm genius llc atm um, this place is open i can choose my category um, for category, I'm going to type ATM and it's actually going to pop up here and all you have to do is click on it. Um, I'm not going to put any alternative categories, just ATM as the primary. Click on done. Uh, you're going to type in your phone number and then also you're going to choose Apple Pay. Um, Apple Pay for most of the people who are have ATMs, your machine most likely does not take Apple Pay yet. That might be something that will be accepted in the future with ATMs, but currently my ATM and most other ATMs do not accept Apple Pay. So um, click on not accept and then go ahead and type in your phone number and then click on next. Now what's going to happen is Apple is going to call you to verify that you are the owner of that phone number and that you actually are using their services um, for their intended purposes. So pretty much the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to come to a page somewhat like this and it's going to ask for the business hours. All you have to do is click on edit and then type in all of the correct business hours and then click on save. 
All right, and then the last thing that you guys have to do is you actually have to go over here to the very bottom for web links, and you're going to have to put a few, well, you can put a few things, or you can just put one thing. You definitely have to put one thing. Um, you can either put a website, or your Facebook account, if you have an app, which most likely you don't, um, Yelp, or if you guys have a Twitter for your business, you can do one of those. All you have to do is hit edit, and then, you know, copy and paste whatever link is there, and then click on save. So the last thing that you guys have to do, all you have to do is submit for review and you're pretty much good to go. Now, what's going to happen is in a week or two, somebody is actually going to call you and pretty much just ask you some basic information. Oh, was this you that um, requested the service? Do you have an ATM at such and such location? And it's maybe like a minute or two phone call. If you answer yes to all those questions, the person on the other end, they'll accept your application and they'll actually put that pinpoint for your ATM on Apple Maps. And then at that point, you can search it up on your Apple Maps and your machine will come up. Now, this is just for Apple Maps. I don't know if we can do it on Google Maps or any of the other GPS locators out there. This is just for Apple Maps. And since I actually placed these locators on my ATM machines, I've seen an increase of somewhere in the ballpark of like five to 10 transactions increase than it was previously so i mean this thing takes like 10 minutes but it can potentially make you 500 100 extra per month so i mean it's definitely worth putting in the time to actually put out a, uh, a gps locator like this and you can kind of use this as a sales tactic too right for uh potential businesses who want your atm so say you have a liquor store here that needs an atm and then you have a, say, Dunkin' Donuts right next door who obviously doesn't have an ATM. Um, you can actually pitch to that liquor store business owner and say, hey, I have a GPS locator uh, that I can use with Apple Maps. And say if someone's at that Dunkin' Donuts and they search up ATM near me, you know, it'll send them right to that business, to that liquor store, and it will bring the liquor store more customers, and you can take advantage of those Dunkin' Donuts customers as well. So that's just another strategy that you guys can use, and you guys can take and convince the business owner to actually put an ATM machine in their store. Now, if you guys still haven't taken those first steps into starting your own ATM business, I have linked a step-by-step -step guide for you guys. Uh, that video is linked right over here. All you have to do is click on it and it will show you step by step the instructions on how to actually go about starting your own ATM business. So that's all for this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.